Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Phobos. And this is Jen. And we're bringing you a very, actually, a very interesting free for all we found on sc2replay.com. As you can see, uh, with the message board, we have a lot of high name players in this free for all. You got Huck. Is that before Huck was on Team Liquid or what? I think it was Liquid Huck, but maybe so. Anyway, we have Heosat as the pink, pink Zerg and the 12, 12 o'clock position. We have Liquid Nazgul as the Red Protoss in the 2 o'clock position. We have Who is that? Mug. Mug as the Orange Zerg in the 4, uh, four o'clock position. <laughs> we have Hawk as the pink. Light, light pink? Pink, I don't know. Or very, very white and down red. I don't know. Pink Protoss. So we got a pink Zerg and a pink Protoss. <laughs> Don't know how that works. <laughs> In the 5 o'clock position, we have Liquid Tyler as Ooh. the Teal Protoss in the 6 o'clock position. And we have Liquid Jinro as the Orange? Orange that's Terran? Yellow. That's Are you yellow. sure? That looks orange. Orange is right there. You're right. That's yellow. Well, yellow Terran as Liquid Jinro. And then we have. TLO. Oh, TLO. The Liquid TOL. The Liquid TLO is the <laughs> purple Terran in the 8 o'clock, no, 10 o'clock position. Alright, so let's see how people are doing. <laughs> I w don't know if we want to bring up oh. the production tab or not. Alright, let's speed through this. We see red getting a probe and a pilot. We see pink getting a spawning pool. Uh, another hatchery. Is that a spawning? Is that the macro hatch you got going on there? And another drone. We see well, a barracks going up for purple. Oh. Oh, that's a spawning pool. Never mind. I thought that was a macro hatch. And then we see more marines like pumping out. No, it doesn't seem like anyone's doing any cheesy play at all. Well, um, in the nature of free for alls is to sit back as long as possible and to to mac up as and we much see, as possible. We see Red playing a very very smart free for all. Is he gonna cannon in, or is he cannon rushing? I think he's gonna cannon in. Yeah, I, I think he's gonna cannon in and maybe go go. Oh, he is cannon, cannon rushing. Rush. He's cannon oh. rushing. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if you Mug is not happy. <laughs> oh, you asked for it. <laughs> you asked for it. That's not Huck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Huck wasn't even aware of this. Okay, I'm out. Oh, uh, Huck, Huck. Okay, I'm voting personally just through uh, watching players play. I'm hoping Huck wins this. I've not seen this replay, so I I'm going for Huck. I have no idea who's going to win. Oh, we do see a very quick expansion going down for Heosat. A That's Bainling a a nest going down for uh, for what's that color is? He's got to he's got to break down these cannons something <laughs> quick. <laughs> I don't know if it's really smart to uh, cannon a Zerg player as all that they yeah. can just they can't on creep. harass the mineral line pretty well. Yeah. Though. Hey, Rhett, how you doing, man? Oh, and that tank and that queen's tanking a little bit. Oh, I think that queen. Two queen drones, actually two drones down so far. He's got to get those banelings up. Might actually lose this spawning pool as well. We do see him grabbing zergling speed and a bunch of banelings. And Stargate going up for pink on the uh, for Huck. See Stargate going up for that's, possibly fast phoenixes because that's that's. Seems like I it's way too I early. I don't think he's going for Phoenix. Well, how much gas does he? He only has... I don't know, that... Because that seems way too early of a, of a Stargate to be going... I think race, he's going so. cannon or carriers. I think he's going carriers. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> All right. <laughs> carriers. Uh, and we also see him getting a robotics facility, so I'm pretty sure he will be going Phoenixes because he cannot support carriers with a robotics facility at the same time. And we see engineering base... Oh my goodness! What what's Liquid TLO up to? A lot of racks and an engineering bag. Liquid Tyler Rockle. looks like he's a uh, good. What, what's what's he laughing about? Liquid Tyler. He's. I don't know. Poor guy. Oh, I think he saw. I think he saw this. Apparently, I think uh, Mug is Rhett here. Maybe a Smurf account. Maybe I don't know. <laughs> and, we, and the Stargate is up for Hook, but he's not producing anything out of it. So uh, I think he's waiting for a fleet beacon. I, I honestly I think he's going. I don't yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's cool. So and many. Roach is going up for <laughs> light pink. 
which is the very north position, Zerg. And Roach Warren is going down, that is correct. What is, uh... What War is, Prism going down for Huck. Oh, Huck. Looks like we might see a Zealot bomb. I don't know what the point is. Oh, there's the Fleet Beacon. And I was right! <laughs> <laughs> and, Huck, you should be getting a, an expansion. Looks doing, like uh, Liquid Ooh. TLO is going to go ahead and push into Rhett's base. Man, this Man guy's Rhett's, <laughs> Rhett's got the short end of the stick this game. I think they all probably plan to kill him. Oh, nobody here. <laughs> Poor Red, he's just getting <laughs> torn into this game. Oh, this is a game full of excitement. And no production going on for Red, so... Looks like we're seeing a push from oh, Ty Liquid Tyler here, but he was bunkered up and does have sufficient forces to repel this. This expansion is a planetary fortress. Uh, shouldn't have any problem holding this off, actually. Especially if you can just summon mules and repair it like a boss. His <laughs> mules are retardedly overpowered. Do mules repair? I'm gonna yeah, actually they turn can. this off because they can really repair. annoying. Uh, I'm gonna. Do they repair at an accelerated rate? Like they? I don't they think mine? so. But but if you need fast repairing, you just summon it right on top and then it starts repairing. Yeah, yeah. And it's really stupid. Man, this, this guy is <laughs> poor. Poor mug. <laughs> I, I think this is a. He lost his spawning pool. Can't make any zerglings. Therefore, he can't make any banelings. And he's hating life. And we got a conversation going up over here. Oh. Looks like these roaches, we're going to try and push into Nazgul's base, but uh, these photons can You see another confrontation going down on the south side, and oh man, this, someone's this trying, is to, gonna get so they're trying to infiltrate uh, Huck, and is he making any one carrier coming out in a war prison? Did, what did he do with that other war prison? I oh, I think know. he transferred probes over oh, there. Oh, he's taking this island in expansion. Very smart move, to be honest with you. Yeah, this is, um... Tyler, because uh, the other TLO one does have control of the watchtower, so... Out of all, everybody, he has the best map control at this moment. And Huck is doing a good job keeping that force field up. That was not a good idea. What? I don't agree with that. He just got both those sentries killed. Yeah. Now he doesn't have any high ground vision. Oh well. And we see, uh, is that carrier out here? No. Jeez. And Huck looks like he might be in a big bit of trouble, but we will see. Huck is Long getting Huck. pushed pretty hard. That sentry is out of energy. And the, and the, what you call it, is out, the carrier. You see a nukes from Liquid oh, General. Oh, jeez, nuke factory <laughs> over here. Do we see the carrier anywhere? No. That carrier, I don't think, is out yet. There, it's there out. There it is. He's, he's getting, getting interceptors, interceptors before he... Up, and there's stalkers hit carriers pretty hard. Do you have an FFA game plan? <laughs> yep. Span five times before making any units. Well, he's expanded. He's got a flying command center. He's taken a gold, and he's taken this bottom position. So, so far, economy-wise, Liquid General is doing the best. And uh, Huck is going to defend this pretty well. I'm actually he actually kept that rough. mortal alive. Nice micro. Uh, oh, there it goes. There goes. <laughs> Focus firing from... What's his name? Who is that? Is that Tyler? Oh, uh, yeah. Liquid yeah. Tyler. He's got to be really careful though. That carrier is just going to start shredding this probe line. He's making another carrier. No, just more immortals. He does. He needs those immortals up. And yellow, which is it's not TLO. TLO is purple. Yeah. Yellow is liquid. Gen Genro. Genro. Yeah. He's the nuke he's guy. He's just getting nukes the nukes. He's I don't see nukes actually. going anywhere. It's really hard to pay well, attention to that mini map. <laughs> <laughs> once, once you get once a couple <laughs> uh, ghosts out and you can like nuke and like you have like five. Expansions up, it is so hard to keep track of everything. You just have to wait to hear that nuke noise. And he and uh, Huck is going to take out this expansion from Tyler. Slash die. And <laughs> Huck's having a hard time killing his expansion because one carrier by itself does hardly anything. There we have a. Where's that nuke? Where's that nuke? Down? Where's that nuke? Where's that nuke? Where's the nuke? Where's the nuke? Oh, man. Find yellow. Find idea. some yellow. Is that it right there? That's his own base. Oh, there's a... Uh, He's gonna cancel that? I don't see any nuke where the nukes are. There's another yellow spot right there. Maybe it was defensive and he canceled. Oh, no, nope, he... It was right there. the front of TLO's base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's gonna be hard to spot those nukes. It's our goal in this match to when we hear that nuke. We're gonna find Fight, it. Figure out where it went. Looked like TLO took the island expansion as well. So Huck and TLO in a great spot and 
Jinro did take that goal, but it's very vulnerable. He took the only free starting position on the map here. Heosat did. Oop. And what interesting things we have now. Okay, we have Ravens. So, so More far, cares. who do you think is going to come up on top? Huck, because he's a freaking boss. I'm actually going to go ahead and say it's, uh... I'm going to say TLO. Either Huck or TLO. I, I th I'm, I'm going to say Heosat. <laughs> He hasn't done any aggression all game. We he see more nukes getting made for. Does have some roaches moving out though. Jinro is making more nukes. And there's a nuke. There's a nuke sound. Where is that nuke? Is it over here? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there's a ghost. Uh oh. Man, I'm not. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea where that. Someone's got a lot of observers on the map though. Man. Oh, right here. Oh. Nuked out this expansion. I don't know if the drones got away or not. Man, I cannot pay attention to those. I need to pay this attention. This is gonna be so hard to catch. Is that, is that from him? <laughs> Heosat does not like that his base got just got taken out. It's not Where's him. this one going? There's a guy up there and there's a, is that a guy right there? No. Is that a guy? There oh right go. there. <laughs> yeah, out. we caught Liquid it. Tyler's I don't know what he lost right there. But <laughs> and another going for a double nuke. <laughs> 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 Looks like he's going to go, go for the cybernetics just, core. Tilo's just being a nuisance right now. Everyone's it's, screen I is saying nuclear detected. They don't know that's where it's general. from. Man, that's general. Bam. That's general. Yeah. You right. didn't, didn't hit the, the mineral line though. And we see another guy coming up here. Is that going to be another nuke? No, this, this base is dead. Uh, Unless he wants left. to nuke it just because, you know. That, he only has one health. Holy crap. How do you manage that? That's one crazy ghost. And let's look at the units tab. Yes. Um, Huck. Huck has two carriers. And other th cool things. Eight ravens for purple for TLO. <laughs> Eight ravens? Oh, and there's the nuke. Looks like the... The, uh, man, I've never seen Ravens used offensively like this. This is <laughs> crazy. And with all that detection flying around, there's no way that. Yeah, where are those things going? I have no there's idea. A, there's a guy. Oh uh, no. He's there's a guy. His own base. What is he doing? It's like, don't hurry, I'll help you, TLO. It did take out all those missile turrets. I think he's trying to kill those ravens in the air. Well, I don't, I don't I'm luck. confused. And here we have a lot of carriers, or, or is that probably two carriers? Two carriers, a lot of interceptors flying out. Third one is on the way. Looks like we have Liquid Nazgul pushing into a pile of Heosat space pretty hard. It look, doesn't look like Heosat's going to be able to hold this. And look at Red up here. Which one's Red again? Red uh, he's mugged. Yeah. No, nope. he's dead. No, not red. Okay. Red. That's that's liquid Nazgul. Oh, uh, Nazgul. He is getting a Templar archive, so he is going to be getting storm with Zealot Lake, which is pretty good. And where's that nuke going? Um. <laughs> good question. Man, this game is all one. full. Of, it's like it's like where's Waldo? Like oh, there there we go. At the planetary fortress, he's doing a two double nukes at the here. same time. I don't oh. think that's enough to kill that uh, planetary. I though. think it will be. Uh, nukes do 500 damage. Do they? And this planetary fortress has 1,100 health. Oh, it will be on fire though, so it will be With in all red. Those SCBs right and the there. SCBs just go and repair it, so. It's very OP. SCBs are OP. They need to be taken out of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like Nazgul wasn't happy about something that happened over here. Sorry we missed that for you. Another noob going down. It's not there. Where is it? Right here. Right here. Right here. Liquid Nazgul's base. How does he have vision of that? He doesn't. He's just blindly doing it, I think. Well, you have to have vision to be able to call a nuke. Well, maybe he scans and then That's quickly starts the nuke. I don't know. <laughs> that knocked out a bunch of po power to uh, Genero, uh, knocked out power to a just bunch of gateways. <laughs> Look at all those ravens. Everyone's just hating on Genero right now. 
And lots of carriers, it looks like, or is that long distance mining? Oh! Got yeah, long distance mining supported by uh, some carriers. Where is that other. Okay. Yeah, looks like we have another new coming down. Right, oh, there. Liquid General, your bases are under attack. <laughs> Ooh, Doesn't look like thanks. Nazgul was, took too kindly to being nuked here. That one of these is going down. The other one's. I don't know what. I don't know what General's doing with all those crime centers. Um, what do we have there? Tate. No, oh, TLO. In the middle, he looks like he has lots of map vision, map control. He does. He he doesn't have this watchtower, but that's about it. Looks like he, General was trying to take this gold expansion. Uh, TLO did take manage to take one of these center golds, so he is on three bases right now. Uh, I'm. I think it is going to come down to Huck versus TLO. At <laughs> Look at point. Huck's little patrolling army out there. <laughs> what on earth are they doing? <laughs> Another nuke going down is uh, uh, right here. Yeah, right there. Looks like he's and Huck and Tyler sees it fairly easy. Did get it out of the way. And he kills nothing with it. Congratulations. But he did stop mining for Tyler. This is very bad for Tyler because he's getting pushed pretty hard right here. Looks like we have and another, another nuke at the down. same time. Tyler's Oh, hating. that ghost might... No, oh, I don't think no Tyler attention. will be able to make his guys out. I don't think he's paying attention. I don't think he cares at this point. He knows he's dead. He either cares or he's not paying attention. And... Bam! 40 kills on that ghost. Oh, oh geez. Looks like PLO is going to push into Nazgul's base here. Another nuke going down. This This is a crazy war. He really wants to kill that Nexus. <laughs> Look like looks like we have Liquid Nazgul pulling back to base. These uh, turrets are doing a lot of damage here. A lot of ravens. Yeah. I wonder if they have a. Uh, they do have a secret missile. Secret missile, very good. That could take out that huge. And Liquid Tyler calling the GG. So we have two players out right now. We have Liquid Tyler out. Oh, and it looks like uh, Sat called game as well. Oh, did he? He's yeah. still moving around. I just That's think he's strange. not making anything in production. That's pro you might be right. Yep, he's making Ultralis Cavern, right? Oh. oh, there it goes. There, there it goes. Yep, there we go. Yep, we, so we have Liquid Tyler and. Oh, Liquid Nazgul's on three bases as well. Huck and Nazgul and TLO are looking very good right now. Yep, that's a lot of stock, a lot of very heavy ground army. Um, nice, so nice storm. That won't really do anything against Huck with all his carriers, but. Yeah. Well, we'll see how, how tough happens. are those interceptors? Well, the interceptors those aren't fly in and out, aren't really they? tough, but and Liquid Hook doing a very smart thing. He's not only getting carriers; he's also getting other things besides the carriers. So, and this oh boy, this that, expansion that is going down. Tough. Jeez, he's just owning that up. How many carriers is that? He has uh, nine carriers. He's really getting uh ten getting carriers up now. There. Uh, and where where's that nuke? I heard it I it's heard gotta it. Gotta be somewhere over here. <laughs> I don't see any yellow on I don't there. see it either. Unless he's nuking his own base, but I don't system. <laughs> so good versus eight <laughs> carriers. Bam! Things just die. Ooh, and he's scared of those stalkers. Oh, oh spikes those down one carrier. Stalkers are very effective. Link stalkers are so good against carriers. It's crazy. But I think all those carriers would put oh, up. Oh, boy. Another one's going to go down here. He is taking quite a few losses from those interceptors, but, uh... And yeah, Hug I think is doing a very good job. He is... Oh, boy. That's nice cool. oh, this is a cool crazy storm. battle. Does man one of those go down? I think so. He lost three so far. He has seven, yeah, he lost three so far. Looks like Heosat's going being a little ballsy and taking the center gold expansion. And how it's looking, it looks like Huck is going to be doing a better job. Or doing better according to that what's his name? I always forget his Hello. name. No no no, the pink guy. Heosat. He's getting ultraless, so if it ever comes down to him versus Huck, Huck will win because Carriers beat ultra this. <laughs> yeah. Ultra can attack air. So, and he do ooh, more stalkers. Yeah, this. Ooh, this is a crazy Nazgul's battle. putting a lot of pressure. So Nazgul's on. just gonna get.
be getting purely just all. Look at all the uh, Hawk is now. getting hit pretty hard on two sides. He's lost a lot of a uh, lot of drones here, and it looks like one of those carriers might be focused down as well. Oh, uh, and one carrier does go down. He needs to take out those ravens, and I think they're all trying to like gain up on a hook or something. I don't know. I don't what know. This is. I think Hux just in the best position right now. So trying to lose it. I think TLO is in a pretty decent position. He's got a lot of forces. I'll give you that. But uh, his offensive, his offense, his force, his offensive force that are nuke? ravens. There's another nuke dropping. Yeah, I, I'm keep oh, hearing. Oh, never mind. But I didn't. Oh, oh, right, right in the middle of And another one space. going down, too. You better he find, needs to that find that soon. That. I don't even know where Here come goes. some observers. What's going to land first? Oh, oh don't. It's going to kill the observer. Oh. oh. They killed him. Yep. Oh. Didn't manage to land that nuke. That, that was, was so close. close. If you'd managed to kill that pylon, man, he would have dropped all carrier production from the hawk. Looks like we have Ooh, Nazgul. Lots of stalkers. Looks like Nazgul is in a very good position right now. Yeah. He's on four bases at this point. All those stalkers are going to annihilate Huck if used right. Uh, depends on who he engages first. If if uh, TLO throws some Seeker missiles right there, then uh, but I'm going to have to say that... Oh, random EMP goes EMP down. EMP is very overpowered. Defensive defensive nuke going here pushing those stalkers back very random anyway there. I was saying if if those uh ravens <laughs> fuck his mask cool yep and he doesn't cancel it he just goes ahead and drops it <laughs> huh okay that uh that probe's gonna spot that this guy right. and, and he's he gonna is die eh. Those, if those ravens drop hunter sinker missiles on this force of stalkers, those stalkers are gonna get eaten a lot. Yeah, I just saw that in pretty quickly. There's just so much firepower with that. Nice. Yep. Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Jeez! Oh. <laughs> so strong. And bam, with the point bam. defense through his defense, that is such. Crazy firepower. <laughs> so they're they're basically mini nukes. And TLO is helping Huck in this battle by killing off that All many stalkers. All these stalkers. It looks like we have a uh, Huck pushing up against Liquid General, trying to finish off this nuke harassment. So who do you think who would, who do you think would win? Huck. Huck. <laughs> you know, at this point, I'm almost in front of you. Unless unless uh Nazgul can get together a ton of stalkers. I think he had a good force going until TLO just demolished him. So, and oh that ghost man. is a lot of gonna, marines oh, moving out those of the well. marines are actually looking scary for Huck as well. Random stim though. Oh, that does make him weaker. He I don't think that. Oh, he needs to focus. He's trying to focus down all these units quicker. Just for, focus this base down before. Oh, and the storms yeah. are gonna yeah. kill these. That's what is was for. He wanted to get in and get out. Before. And those storms are going to do massive damage. Yep, there, there goes all those mines. And goodbye for him. Didn't yeah. manage to do a whole lot of damage here. Did disrupt the mining though. Got more uh, nuke nuke uh, research coming out for Jinro. More carriers coming out for Huck. Huck did manage to grab a center gold expansion as well. As well as this uh Huck is just going crazy expansion. all over the map. Well his natural is completely mined out by now. Oh, this is a this is an earlier game yeah, as you this can is tell. Pretty old. <laughs> I was like, "What's that? What is that research?" <laughs> like, I don't I don't remember like, that one. <laughs> so, do uh, Void Rays automatically have that research, or do they just take that research out of the game? What they did is they they removed that, they and sped up the max. Oh yeah, it used to be three. It used to be three charges, huh? But now it's only two. The the Void Ray. Well, it, it, it take it has three channels. It just takes without. Like they lessen the damage of the void ray, but sped up the time it took to reach that charge. I see, and we got TLO in a scary position. I I, at this point, I would say it's TLO versus Huck because yeah, this is crazy. Pretty much, I think General, since he lost all those stalkers, is in kind of a bad position. Saw some ravens come in and actually knock out a bunch of uh, probes here. Don't know if they're forced to retreat or just. Unless that's them, is that them? No, that's oh, just his forces. 
It's See, Infester's good. coming out for our pink player. He's still on one base, so he's not really yeah, he's he's in trouble here. I he's think pretty this much is scary. game. He does have a Nidus Canal, and he is he did oh. knock out TLO's expansion here, but he's got to get back to base. Because we see uh, Liquid Nazgul is pushing I up think, against Heosat pretty good I think Heosat here. can actually do some very good damage here. If he can get his units back out. It takes time to unload the ultra, uh, all the units. Unload, unload. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, I don't know either. Does it really take that long? What's, what's that bar doing? What's, what's he doing? Unload. Is he trying to build a new canal somewhere? He's, he's re-expanding. He lifted off his... an <laughs> empty expansion. I just think he's trying to, like, stay in this battle until everyone else kills each other. And... Hey, it might work. Huck is getting this reach. What is that? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, they took that one out of the game, too. Yeah. What is that? Another... I don't know why he's getting that. I don't know how you but. pronounce it. I don't know. I haven't seen any storms or anything. Oh, there we go. Got a bunch of... And he's repairing himself against TLO, out. which is very good. He's not just tunneling himself into only getting carriers, which are very good, by the way. Now this expansion. And oh, Hug misses those ravens. Oh, he the ravens are going in for a fight, and he's yeah, gonna drop he tons of seeker missiles. Seeker missiles, those or point defense drones. He needs those point defense. Oh, <laughs> and Hug taking a ton of damage. Oh, look at the state of those carriers. Oh. He lost. So many carriers right there. These ravens are so good. <laughs> Offensive ravens. Who would have thunk? Thunk. Oh. He, he is doing a nice <laughs> job splitting the carriers up. Yeah. He did that was a, a huge loss. Looks like we have a couple archons on the field, which I don't know if I agree with against Terran players, especially one who's using ghosts almost exclusively. <laughs> <laughs> See all those missile turrets going up for Jinro. He has he had like seven in production. Another Ghost Academy, of course. It, I'm still surprised kinda looks like Jinro's a, in this game as much as he is, to be honest. This kind of looks you. like um a uh, mono battle. Cause, Almost. Because uh, everyone's sticking to one unit they want to build, pretty much. You see, oh uh, he's Huck is starting to branch out here. I'm. This I'm is going to go all I'm the way thinking, back. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. is next. Great position. Nice. Ooh. Yeah, so this will be a big competition. I think uh, Huck is going to come out on top of this just because of the offensive storms. Yeah, I think Huck oh, does lose a no, carrier, Huck is, though. Oh, I don't know. Huck did lose that battle. I don't know. He's still got a lot of firepower he on the He has four field. carriers. Versus, yeah, I think you're right, actually. So, all t Jinro needs to do is drop a nuke or... TLO needs to come back in with those ravens. Where'd all those ravens Ravens go? are very gas Ravens expensive. are moving out again. The gas to leave my IO <laughs> <laughs> He doesn't have enough gas. They're both ex... <laughs> They're both... <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. I just got sidetracked for a second. And Looks like uh, Hawk is doing some very nice mind show with that uh, observer there, giving him high ground. Hawk is getting lots of carriers, lots of gateways. Maybe he's going to go into lots of zealous with charge to combat those. I don't those, think uh, that would work against Ravens, too. <laughs> well, I think he's trying to combat the stalkers. I th maybe, That's I don't know. That's true. But zealots aren't such late game units because they're, they're melee focused. Yeah, it's true. It's one of the big downfalls of Ultralisks as well. It's one of their most powerful units. You know, they gotta get right there. A couple offensive storms going down. Looks like Huck is gonna lose this. He is pushing in with his carriers though. And lag, a little bit of lag. Oh, there we go. Are those? Yeah, those are Latin ads. Yeah, this is Liquid Nazgul. Took out Huck's oh, uh, gold expansion. Nazgul is... Oh, I don't know. <laughs> TLO looks like he seems like he's in a good position. Yeah, I think it's honestly because he's I think been TLO, left alone most of the yeah, game. Yeah, he's being left alone. He did he get a couple nukes dropped against him, but it didn't do a whole lot of damage. Looks Great. like Nazgul really pressing this attack. Very nice for Huck. He has that high ground in 
He's able to kill off a few stalkers, not a lot, but the only advantage that Huck has here is he's flying, so he can just fly over. Yeah, but he's and got get away. all this base right here. He's got to protect. Oh, and that's his base, base, huh? I thought that was. Yeah. And it looks like Liquid Nazgul is committing to this attack. And it looks like Huck is going to defend it. Yeah. He's, he's yeah, getting into some more guys. And he, okay. and he blinks Nazgul down. Does pull away. Liquid Nazgul is going to lose those Templars. I would do another counter if, um, if I was Huck. Looks so like someone's dropping another nuke here. Oh. And they killed him. <laughs> Look at all of that energy on those Ravens. That's so That's many what secret he does. missiles. He just that's so much. Backs nice off to, and he can repair them too. That's something his Protoss opponents don't have. And that's another thing about OP mules is he can just like, if he's somewhere <laughs> way far away from his base, he can just summon mules on top of him and start to watch the show at heart. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like oh. General wants that expansion. <laughs> we have another sizable force of stalkers starting to push into. Uh, Huck's base again. We have a lot of food. Nice, nice blink nice out of that blink. storm. I don't, I'm pretty sure he just blinked. I don't know if he saw that storm coming, but that was very nice. I, I think he was anticipating. And we got and Tilo. Tilo's gonna, gonna force him to oh. pack off. <laughs> oh. oh, and Huck gets murdered. <laughs> Huck is like the hero of. Booyah! <laughs> he just comes out of nowhere with a thousand ravens and just demolishes that was everything TLO. in sight. Said Huck. <laughs> oh, Huck. Yeah. TLO, I mean. TLO is just... Looks like we got another Ooh. nuke going down at this expansion. Not enough to kill it, though. I think ghosts aren't very a nice late game unit. They're, they're used more for map control than anything. Oh, those tanks are those tanks, those random tanks are going down unless he moves it out of the way. I want to see how this goes. With those storms as support though, Huck is managing to hold this off. We need to see something, maybe an immortal or something or... Yeah, it's going to take a lot of immortals because they could just blink and one shot that immortal. I don't know what... Well, he doesn't have oh, those this. zealots are... <laughs> zealots are good. I like the zealot play. I don't know what Liquid Nazgul needs at this point to really push into to Huck. I think Looks he needs like TLO. I think Huck is uh, up against the ropes, though. He's been, he's getting kind of pretty low on minerals. Huck would probably have already won this by now. TLO didn't knock out almost his entire army twice. <laughs> Looks like Liquid Nazgul is going to return the favor and stab Huck, though. Does knock out stab one TLO, base. You're getting confused with names. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Stab TLO. We have a bunch of moves go down. Oh, let's see if he sees that new. Oh, he does see that Lose that observer though. Nuke the spot there. Get, right. get the observer. Right. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Spend a nuke, kill an observer. And Nazgul's looking to press up against Huck again. Nazgul is being smart and not committing himself. What is? And what is does Nazgul not have any um, minerals at all or anything? Because he's not doing any production. I don't know. I don't know. How many ravens does TLO have? He has 17 ravens. That's Not quite enough bad. to He's pretty much mined everything. out, though. TLO is like the police of StarCraft. He just goes in when there's conflict we and have kills a, everything. an offensive nuke get going Get the nuke out here. Get, get out your guys out of the way. Get your guys out of the way. And Hug needs to move. He's going to lose. Oh, no, oh. He's going to lose a pile on. Oh, he almost lost a carrier right there. Just disengage at the wrong moment. Nah, at Huck, I don't know. I think TLO is going to win this. You have some All ghosts for TLO now, so we're gonna, not going to be able to tell who, whose nukes are whose at this point. <laughs> I don't know if TLO is using those for nukes. I think he's using those for uh, EMPs. It looks like uh, we everybody wants this expansion here. This is this is what's going to decide the game, is who can make their minerals last long enough to take this. Huck is getting pretty spent. And Nazgul is you known. Yeah, like, he's got a. He is. He does not have, he does not have enough income to have, support everything he has. I don't see why he hasn't taken that. Or he probably has nothing on it. Yeah. And Pink, he actually might win because no one's <laughs> killing him. He's, he's gonna just chill up there. On his high. Is he tag. even in the game still? Yeah. <laughs>
I have no idea. So actually. who is winning? <laughs> yeah, he's still in the game. I think Blizzard should add that interface where if you lose in an FFA or a team match, you can observe. I mean, then you'd be able yeah. to cheat, but... That's <coughs> probably why it's not bad. They should at least do that for FFA since there's no ranking in FFA. Uh, I think Nazgul <coughs> and Huck are killing each other while I just stay back. Epic PvP and make the balance of power with my rage. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. These. Okay, what am Okay. <coughs> ravens, uh. These Ravens really are changing the game. We do see Ghost, so he's probably gonna do an EMP, uh. force here. Yep. Those EMPs drove those stalkers right out of there. I don't think it was the EMPs, it was the Ravens. He didn't want to clump up his. his guys That's true. Up. But he did. Tilo might do them. An attack. I don't oh, think he wants to be is close to oh. TLO with those with those Hunter Seeker missiles. Oh. <laughs> gonna look like and there goes there goes Hawk's mineral line. <laughs> there goes his, uh, uh -oh. TLO is doing a very smart. Nice just, feedback though. He's got to get those yeah, ravens nice out feedback. of there. TLO's doing a good job, just making sure their army counts are low, so they oh. spend more minerals getting them back up. And yeah. it does put them in a very weak spot, so there's all the game. TLO is used as an energy. <laughs> Why does Blizzard think that they need those uh, one for the They're so strong and ridiculous. Only against Protoss, though. They don't do nearly as much against uh, Zerg. He's a brutal guy, though. They're going to get nuked. General just yeah, sneaking he's... in there and nuking everything. Is he going to need some just trying to get this base up. All he wants is this base. Why does everybody <laughs> gotta keep bothering him? Same thing on Huck's page, though. Well, all he wants is this base. They should just all be friends and just let each other have those bases. Because why not? More carriers coming I think, out. I think Liquid Nazgul is in a bit of trouble at this point. And he's running out of minerals and he just doesn't I think have Huck's in a bit of trouble because those. Oh, oh man, nice that MP. was bad. It looks like Huck's going to go on the And to Huck off. is going to be finished off right here with all those. And but Liquid bam, Nazgul bam. swinging into the side. Looks like he wants a piece of this action as well. Does feedback and Raven. <laughs> needs to throw off a couple more Hunter Sinker drones. And the Ravens are faster, so they are going to catch it. And he's backing off. Decides to back off. TLO is being smart in this match. Man. Let those shields recharge. Huck and Nazgul are just going at it. Yeah. While TLO just got some distance mining going on. <laughs> Carry <laughs> on. <laughs> and Jinro's just having fun. Look at all the <laughs> <laughs> How he's got three hundred oh no. Oh my god. It doesn't tell what? It doesn't tell me how many SCVs are on there? I guess it's an earlier patch. Just, you can tell everybody's scraping for every <laughs> bit of mineral they can find at this point in the game. This is crazy. Looks like Nazgul's actually going to try and circumvent this force and, oh, and go Naz for TLO directly. Maybe Nazgul and Huck will join together and combat TLO. Maybe. And I if think they together kill TLO, then I, Huck Against will these win. Ravens, I think that's the only, only option at this point. They've got to take TLO out. Because he's not spending any money to repopulate his army. Because TLO will win the game if it's, if it's at this point. Look at this! <laughs> We cannot Knock out that expansion <laughs> again! Man, TLO is just denying everything. It's, it looks like he's going to do some distance mining here. It just doesn't have that rally point set up on that command <laughs> center, though. But Nazgul's nearly spent. Uh, Hawk is nearly spent. He does have a fair, that, fair that amount of That island is mined out. He does have the... That one's mined out too. Jeez, and he d yeah. only mining all he, base has he has is this gold expansion. Well, he has this mining base right here too. Those I think the only him and him and Jinro are on a team actually. I decided to be Him and Jinro, TLO and Jinro, TLO and Jinro. Because Jinro is just having fun dropping nukes everywhere. <laughs> two ghosts. Oh. <laughs> Looks like. Man. uh... Huck is going to harass this mineral line. Killing off a few refineries. And he is backing off at the side of those ravens. Sure. I would be scared if I was that. Oh, and General does come in and snipe some probes in. That was doing some distance mining. And he does get up in the base. I'm oh, not sure Nazgul's how Huck is in a bad position this. right here. Nazgul is going to lose his army, it looks I like. I don't know. I don't think he has Huck has all anything his... but these carriers. 
Oh man, he was all those zealots. And that's a not. Yeah, that's. Nazgul not. really needs to save his guys because he has no Snipe. mining. Lost one temp life. In general, is just taking those out. <laughs> Yellow is just oh, he's driving, driving nails in at every point he can. Looks like they're, we're gonna see the ravens swing and back. And those in. ravens are gonna own oh, you. <laughs> oh oh. And those carriers look like he almost blew up half his own ravens right there. Man, there's breath left on those carriers. And then this, oh man, everyone just hates Nazgul, this I think game. he's gonna go in and try and knock out a couple carriers. Oh, oh, Nazgul's gonna Takes lose out his guys. One, two, three. Nazgul's gonna lose his guys. Oh man, I'm starting to think Kilo is winning. <laughs> Nazgul, and Nazgul leaves. calls GG. He was spent. Had nothing. Now left. we have Tilo versus. Huck, Huck and Liquid General. I think TLO is looking good at this point. I think so too. He does have this gold. He is starting to get it saturated. This one, it's got a very funky position on. I don't know about that. Now, but Heosat is still in this game. <laughs> maybe Heosat. Everybody else is just going to let leave. <laughs> Man, Heosat is making six Zerglings. Oh, looks like Jinro is going after TLO now. Oh, very good, General. He is good. Get those minerals. Yeah, oh, there oh. we go. And I think that kind of was I think poking all these, the beast. All these nukes aren't very, being very effective, it seems. Uh -uh. He's been nuking these all game. players are, at this <laughs> level are just so aware. They know where to find that red dot. Yeah. There's only a couple of things that make sense, you know. And Tilo. He's got to get him back out of there. <laughs> Huck is continuing to make his uh, high temps for that feedback for the, against the Ravens. That will be very, very devastating for yeah. Huck. Huck will... What the... F <laughs> <laughs> We've got another dude coming down here on this side. And he's moving his Ravens right into it! Oh! oh, he oh. Lost one Raven. Was that one Raven lost? One Raven, I think, oh. one was damaged. It that nuke could just that take so a close. second longer. And he did EMP all those ravens. They have no more energy. Oh, Huck oh, is going to be in a pissed. very awesome position that was right mean. now. I'm sorry. I take it back. I think he's Huck is no going defense. to win this game. He's got no defense against this push now. And now the carrier. <laughs> oh, oh, man. That does cost lots of energy for the Hunter Secret Missile. Oh, yeah. So he does have to... 125. He's got a couple... He has a he's couple got of two ravens. Left, which isn't oh. enough to drive these guys off. Especially with all those feedback from those high oh, temps, that will that not be enough. Jinro did win this game for, for uh, Huck, it looks like. I have no guess for two more. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Still, still got this expansion up. Still He's doing the long anything. distance uh, gas mining for yep. Jinro. 60 left. And Huck is still in a good position. He still has one base mining and doing long distance on the gold. Looks so, like Huck... Ooh. Did what the damage he wanted. Took that. Took out that expansion. Is gonna go ahead and break off here. We General. have General moving Man. across the map. Maybe gonna poke some at Huck. I don't see why he has this. Oh, it's planetary fortress now. And another nuke oh. is going off somewhere. I don't know where. Though. He's just making everybody so, panic. So, all right, there. It's gonna kill absolutely nothing. And here we go. Bam. Almost killed that warp prism. And General is gonna see that warp prism. I don't know where that prison is going. I don't know. Maybe it's going to freak people out. Looks like, oh, those tight, tight temple. No, they're going to get out of the way. Yeah, everything's going to, he's just got a bad timing. <laughs> <laughs> Cancel. Cancel. What are you doing? Cancel. Man, he's very limited on resources. He has hardly any nukes. Yeah, I don't know why. He's, he's got, got three, three more. Three nukes. I don't think he can afford to buy another one. Yeah. He need, really needs to save those resources. is going crazy. I think the and Huck is, is letting still in TLO's favor because he has this gold expansion. And, he, and Huck is letting those Ravens recharge energy. Unless General can do another crazy EMP. I don't know what Go Huck can away. Do. <laughs> oh, what's going on? Oh, and then Looks we have like a we No. TLO seems like he's been having a little bit of stress right now. Yeah, I don't... I think he, he's below that critical mass of Ravens take out that many carriers. And he does have all those feedback again for the yeah. carriers and that will do so but much damage. If, if he catches those carriers at all out of position he can do a lot of damage. We need General to, know, to do another awesome EMP. 
Oh, we have Zerglings in the base. Where the <laughs> heck did that come from? He made a couple of Zerglings. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> he just had decided to make a few Zerglings. <laughs> do what he could. What did he do? Like, pick him up? Like, I don't pick know what he did. He saw yeah, some he Zerglings in his base. <laughs> Look at that. Saving those Zerglings. We have an offensive. We have a nuke coming down somewhere. Looks like Ooh, we have a so lot of marines. Oh my god. That'd actually be pretty detrimental. Oh, oh lots of oh my gosh, lots of feedback. And a storm, that's that's bad. Oh, <laughs> oh. He's losing a lot that he did not oh engage my. on the low ground. That was so beautiful by Huck. He's the only one mining. Man. Oh yellow does have a little bit mining here. That was so all that those feedbacks just bad, demolished yeah. and, those, those, and that storm on those Marines. The Marines. That was epic, epic gameplay by Hawk right there. Uh, and I could see why TLO went for the confrontation right there. But uh, he spent too much time getting close and not enough time getting out. More carries being produced for Huck. He has two more just coming out in just a second. I have a couple more Ravens on uh, TLO's side. Looks like, and as well as Marines. Man, those I think Ravens. Oh man, Huck could do a push right now and I think you'd be in great look position. Look at the upgrades on those Marines. Three, Holy two. What, what are Huck's upgrades on his carriers? Three, two, three. He's pretty much maxed out. Yeah. He has that one last shield upgrade. Uh, everybody's so broke though. He's sitting at 580. Sitting at 300. Almost every base in this game is has been mined out. out. So, maybe we'll get to the point where everything's mined out and just a matter of of battles, matter of micros, yeah, just micros just, from there. I think that's what's going to come down to. And we see, do you see a confrontation come down right here? It's um, going after this planetary fortress. And those marines those, are uh, focusing down those the uh, interceptors, though. Well, which you know is yeah. actually pretty smart to be honest with you, because that leaves these guys pretty defenseless. Looks like we have a nuke coming down somewhere. I don't see where. Probably not somewhere on TLO. And it looks like he's just trying to get him to spend money on interceptors. Well, I think I don't know what what uh, I was saying. Mass interceptors oh, are pretty very expensive. Nice storm. Nice feedback feedback's going on. down as well. Focus that. Oh, getting an arc on that finish. Just gonna rape the rest of these marines. And uh, perhaps it is going to. There we go. To be fair, though, it has chugged along with us for over an hour now. An hour game time. Man, this is a very now. crazy game. I don't know who's in the lead right now. It's very it's crazy so to tell. It's so close. It's so hard to Zerglings! tell. Zerglings! Those are <laughs> <laughs> so random. Most random Zerglings in the world. Liquid Jinra is still walking around with uh, <laughs> Yosat. Poor Yosat. He sat through this game. Yosat can afford one more Zergling, actually. Yeah, look at the cost. He's, he's spent so much money on interceptors. Yosat... Feeding the feeding the <laughs> creep in the middle of the base. Pretty sure Tila wins from Jinro. I don't know. That's a lot of carriers, and they're really clumped up right now. Yeah, I see Huck's army. He says, "Man, this is looking so scary." This is gonna go. Huck, oh. Huck does have a decent army. If you look up, that is a pretty decent sized yeah, army out there. Right there. As well. That plant, that's a planetary fortress though. He's got those littered all over the place. It's just going to be hard to press against him at all. If he loses his carriers, there's no way he can win with that size Pretty of army much. against those planetary fortresses. He does have about 700 minerals left. 800 minerals. Man, more high temps coming through. Very good for that feedback. Man, and Heosat is cheating. <laughs> He's giving away Huck's position. He wants, he wants, I think TLR pretty much already knows what's going on. But wasting all those minerals what? on those, what is he doing with those auto turrets? Nice, oh. nice feedback. That's nice, actually. Dropping energy so that when they uh, feedback them, it just takes the amount of energy and turns it into a damage. But if they only have 10 energy, they only take 10 damage. Well, if they have no energy, then he has, he can, he can do nothing. Those turrets aren't going to be very strong at all. I don't know what Tilo's doing right now. I don't know. 
doing something with, I, I know he's microing his energy in some way. I'm just not sure as to what purpose. He does have a, quite a bit of Marines. Yeah, but again, Archons he's, and Zealots. I think he's trying really to make TLO do a push and so the Marines can just do tons of damage. Or he's trying to make his Templar run out of energy so he can't storm and then he can yeah, push his or Marines. Yeah, feedback. Yeah. But I still don't know because feedback is not that expensive and they... Yeah, I, mean, I just don't know anything right now. How much is feedback? Only 50, yeah, you're right. It's not that much. Got a building flying around. That was like the most random attacking building. buildings now. Too bad you can't fly uh, ghost academies. Fly those plenty of those. <laughs> <laughs> 2 a.m. for the lose? I guess. That sucks. And the game is coming on a close, and so we... Oh, man. We got about five minutes left for this game. And to be honest with you, I don't think... Got more archons being made here. I don't think uh, unless there's I don't know if TLO can have that pull this. Still, I don't know if TLO can pull through this. Units. You. He does have four ghosts actually. So if he drops a couple of EMPs, he could turn the tide of this battle. But between microing ghosts and microing ravens, that's going to be really hard to pull off. And the income we have. About 800, 800 for TLO and 300 for... But we, we are Did you see a confrontation? I would not push out while those turrets are still up. going down. I don't know why he's pushing out. Why didn't he just wait a couple, like 30 more seconds for those turrets? But I guess he's going to pull that back. Nuke. And that nuke, that nuke, that nuke. He's not going to Oh, it killed he that killed one. killed his own Marine. That would suck <laughs> to be that Marine. <laughs> oh, man. Very nice push by TLO though. I'm not sure. Or by he lost a lot of. Uh, that's correct. Puck. <laughs> he lost a lot of zealots, but other than that, well, he didn't do a whole lot of damage though either. Someone needs to do something. This, oh, what's Huck this gonna is do? This turning into a Mexican standoff real fast. <laughs> Huck, I think Huck can win this. I think either one of them could win this. do have an expansion coming down. Random strange thing to spend what few resources you have <laughs> left. I would have taken that and lifted it off. Yeah, you might as well just take one of your other ones and lift it off. But Looks like we are seeing a push by Huck again. Is he going to go for it this time? I don't know. He's got six carriers sitting here. Five carriers? Six carriers. Six carriers. They are full on, on energy, so... And the longer Huck waits... <laughs> Yeah. If you have enough to make a command center, you're way ahead. I have a ghost. <laughs> and a trapped SCB. <laughs> Man, I think Huck might GG out of this. Because he's, he is saying that you're really I far ahead. <laughs> yeah, it's turning into a I think it's going to be one more confrontation right here. To see I what's gonna go on. Nice stem. This will be the last competition. Those harkons are doing a huge amount of damage. Yeah, those those are gonna be Oh yeah, dispense. Where are those seeker missiles? You've gotta take out oh, those carriers. Oh. Crap, this is flagging. There we go. And and attack hug, like attack hug, attack hug. What are you doing, hug attack, attack? No. no, he's out of interceptors. Oh, he's out of it. Oh my gosh. And that was a crazy he's game. Broke, you can't build anymore. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. Uh, thank you for joining us. Uh, and if you're still here, thank you for sticking with us. Yeah, <laughs> this has a been a very long we game. We probably missed lots of big stuff, but I mean, we tried to get everything. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to do when you only have one one computer too but whatever yeah. anyway uh, if you like the replay or want to or have feedback or anything send it to bronze league perspective at hotmail.com um, send in any replay of anything and we'll get those up yep uh, also check us out on Facebook bronze league perspective this is Phobos this is a gent signing out peace out